Hello. Dreaming of studying in the UK? Welcome to UK for Expat series by Top Travel and Food. We'll talk about everything from school until universities, covering requirements, costs, and all you need to know to apply. Whether it's England, Scotland, Wales, or Northern Ireland, each country offers a unique educational journey. The UK education system is divided into several stages. Primary education, secondary education, further education, and higher education. Primary education starts at age five and continues until age 11. Then students move on to secondary education, which lasts until age 16. At the end of secondary education, students take the general certificate of secondary education called GCSE exams. After GCSEs, students can choose to continue their education in sixth form or college, where they can take A-levels or vocational qualifications. Higher education begins at age 18, with students applying to universities through UCAS, the central organisation responsible for managing applications to undergraduate courses at UK universities and colleges. There are some specific situations in which you can apply directly through the university, such as international students. Other possibility is during the clearing process, a period after exam results when remaining university places are filled, or for short-term courses, for example. Generally, for undergraduate courses, the deadline is around mid-January for the majority of courses, but some courses may have earlier deadlines. As for the costs, international students can expect to pay between £10,000 and £38,000 per year for tuition fees, depending on the course and the university. England is home to prestigious universities like Oxford and Cambridge, making it a global hub for education. The application process is straightforward. You'll typically apply through UCAS, the centralised service for university applications. Have your academic transcripts, personal statement and reference letters ready. And don't forget the English proficiency tests like IELTS, or TOEFL. England also has vibrant student cities such as London, Manchester and Birmingham, each offering diverse cultural experiences. Next, let's head north to Scotland. Scotland is known for its rich history and stunning landscapes. Universities like the University of Edinburgh and the University of Glasgow are world-renowned. The application process is similar to England's with UCAS being the primary gateway. If you're from the EU or EEA, you might still be eligible for free tuition or reduced fees, but always check the latest updates. Cities like Edinburgh and Glasgow offer a perfect blend of tradition and modernity, making them fantastic places to live and study. Now, let's talk about Wales. Smaller in size, but rich in culture and history, Wales is home to universities like Cardiff University and Swansea University. The application process is again through UCAS. Wales is known for its friendly communities and beautiful landscapes, from mountains to coastlines. Plus, studying in Wales might come with the bonus of learning a bit of Welsh. Finally, Northern Ireland, with institutions like Queen's University Belfast and Ulster University, Northern Ireland offers high-quality education in a unique cultural setting. The application process remains consistent with UCAS. Northern Ireland is known for its welcoming people and stunning natural beauty, from the Giant's Causeway to beautiful coastal towns. No matter which part of the UK you choose, the British educational system is designed to be rigorous and rewarding. Most undergraduate degrees take three years, with some exceptions like medicine or architecture. Postgraduate degrees typically take one year. Remember to consider living costs, accommodation options and scholarship opportunities in your planning. So, there you have it. Each country offers something special 
And whichever you choose, you're sure to have an enriching and unforgettable experience. Don't forget to watch other UK for Expat videos, as well as like, subscribe and share your own expat experiences. Thank you.